guys, Jill here, and we are on day 16 of Marion Smith's 31 Day Challenge. And I showed you just a quick part of my visit to Ikea yesterday. I intended to show you some of the storage options that we were looking at, but the place was packed and people were looking at me weird. So I just did that short little video. I'm kind of backed up, so I'm uploading all my videos at one time. So you're going to see that one right before this. And, um... I think that's about it but what I did was when we went to Ikea I redid my stamp room yet again which I do a lot so let me just show you kind of back out here and give you an idea so as always we start over here in the closet of disaster which has more than just stamping stuff it's like here's some cabinets right here <laughs> that we're working on um, here's my scrapbook storage with all my scrapbook papers. Then these are my 8.5 by 11 papers. And I was able to do some rearranging. Like I moved right here is my book that Susan sent to me. Um, and then, you know, some of the butterflies that were up here before. My old little trash can. Here's my stamp desk that once again it's set into the closet and it looks really messy. We've gone over this before but here's my most used pads, some cards that I've received or made, some tags, things like that. There's all of my mini misters. And again, you kind of see my little disaster area here, but here's my Tombows. And this is the shelving that divides the closets. Keep all of my rulers hanging here. And then here's just kind of a mishmash of things. And then up there, I don't want to cause too much glare, but is my bulk of my ink pads. Some stamps, like stamps at Char letting me borrow some more ink pads and then a nice storage here on my desk of course is my desk caddy and my really bright lights then we come over here again more rulers there's one of my paper cutters my other one and again I don't have floor in here yet that's our next project We've decided to go with the wood laminate. And I want to show you one more thing. It's almost embarrassing. But I know a lot of you don't have tripods. And it's sometimes a little bit hard to watch some of those videos because of the movement. All I have is this is a piece of the flooring we're going to put down. Just, you know, like Pergo. And literally just a hole poked out of it. And that's how I stabilize everything. And that's right over my work surface. And that's my project for tomorrow. I've started painting it. So I don't know if that gives any of you any help or any ideas. But that was my free tripod. I didn't like the regular tripod. I ended up returning it. So there's my ribbons. Here's my work in progress. Some of them. This is some stamps that I have set out to work with for Valentine's. And then of course this is my entire unmounted system. These are my cabinets I've shown you before. My punches are on the doors. And then these are all clear frames. And like here's my glitters. And they pull out. And I had this made for me. I had two of them made for me. This is my embellishment center. With some large stamps on top. Some of my certificates up there. But we've got all my re my alcohol inks, my Tim Holtz ink pads, my Perfect Pearl Mist. It's pretty much mostly Ranger, my Dabbers, some odds and ends, crackle paint, and some ribbons. And again, here's my other cabinet. The same as the other one. We went to Ikea and we got some of those rails. They're $1.99 a piece and I think the basket was $2.99. I'm going to get a craft spinner for right here. 
I'm thinking maybe too high. I'm not positive yet. Sorry, the candles have some glare. It's nighttime. And so we got three of the rails to hold my punches. And then the basket. So I've got a lot of my, you know, makeshift <laughs> Tim Holtz ones in there. And then I've got some of the, the regular ones. Most of those are in the basket. But I've shown you these before. They're, I, my stamps are all mounted. These are the Stampin' Up! blocks. And I just put some Velcro and labeled them. So, and then here's my, again, old school stamps from Moves. So then over in the corner, I have some magazines, catalogs, all that kind of stuff. And then these are my first stamp cabinets I ever bought way back when. My Michael's dollar stamps that I haven't had the heart to unmount yet because I think they're kind of pretty. And some of Sharon's flowers. And then I have Susan and Sharon's flowers up here too with the book I made. And then these are the Alex drawers. And I've shown you these before. But this is where the rest of my punches are. And I showed you this and you can't even see it here with the light on. I got those inexpensive lights and this right here. I got at Target 75% off. Okay, so now here's my new baby. This is what we ended up getting at Ikea. And I had never noticed it before and I, 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 I just love it. Um, it's the four cube up and down and four across and then it has a hook in desk. Let's see if we can't get another angle here. So see everything's glaring sorry. So there's where the desk hooks in. I have some packages I have to send out. <laughs> but you can see there's so much in here and then let's see if I can't kind of pull the light aside. Here's some of my work, my friend's work, um, things that have been sent to me. These are some of those embossers, um, some of my class boards, you name it, it's up there, the bat I did. And then there's my, my cork board still. And then below that is my little embellishment tubs, I don't know what to call them. And then my husband's cars. And then again, we're back at the, the bed. And I have like a whole section for unfinished things. I'm still trying to come up with a system here. This is really going to be a workstation. So like my Cricut, it's going to be going the other direction so it can go back and forth. And then next to it, hopefully, it's going to be a Vagabond. I have one on order and when that comes, it's going to be there. And then, of course, this is the bed. And here's my printer's tray that had to come down. But it's I'm going to use Susan's idea, who's Iowa 2308. And it's going to go underneath this desk as a drawer. So I'll have my smaller stamps in it. Let's see? And some embellishments. And then, of course, we have weird things because, you know, it was actually up on the wall. Okay, so that brings us back to the closet. And that is my new stamp room. And I am absolutely, hope I didn't make you dizzy, absolutely loving all this space over here. And I think, yeah, my husband helped me pick it out, but... Oh, and here's my big haul for the day. <laughs> we went to a stamp store in Mount Dora. Really pretty store. It's called Stamping Station. Ooh. And they've been there a long time. It's a beautiful, historic town. We walked around. There were people on horse-drawn carriages. And just, it's a neat town. So we went up there, and there's two doves. And that's a, a Kling Mount stamp. So I was good. It's when you reach a point that you have a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, so it was a really nice trip and that's what I bought today. And I figure I did enough damage at Ikea.
So, that is everything. That is my day 16. I hope it helps you with some ideas, maybe for some storage. And, like this table, I never noticed it before, but it's an add-on piece and it was $50 for the table. So there you have it. That's my organization for today. And thanks for watching and have a great day.